Hello viewers, my name is Victoria Maywin from Cool Life TV. I'm your Australian number one multicultural channel. Today I'm here at the Western Australia Parliament House at the event. Um, it's a Friends of Fashion. Let me take you through and show you what's happening in there. Honourable David, how are you today? Wonderful, and what a wonderful event we've had here at Parliament House. Yeah. Um, could you please introduce yourself to our viewers, um, your job and what you do? So I'm, uh, I'm very proud to be the Minister for Culture and the Arts in Western yeah. Australia, and that job or role covers, of course, all of our art forms, including, of course, the wonderful creative industry that is uh, fashion. So what's your thoughts for today? Well, today, today, today we've had something very unique in the Parliament of Western Australia, and I've been in the Parliament uh, for uh, nearly 23 years, and it's the first time we've had a fashion parade. And what we saw tonight in Parliament was a fashion parade of West Australian designers, West Australian uh, producers or creatives, and uh, it was remarkable. I know the Premier, Roger Cook, was here tonight, and he was, uh, well, in his words, uh, almost... Um, speechless because of what he saw in terms of the quality, the magnificence of our of the models, of course, that were modelling uh, the garments. And I think that demonstrated to members of parliament in particular who are here tonight and those from the industry just how, um, uh, how special the West Australian industry is, but also the opportunities for growth. And you look very amazing tonight. Can well, you please look, tell us a bit you know, about what you're wearing I, today? I am not a fashionista, unlike the magnificent designers and uh, and creatives that we've seen tonight. I am much more a um, fading matinee idol, but I am very proud to see and have met tonight uh, so many of our um, uh, fashion creatives uh, and producers uh, and garment uh, garment creators that um, demonstrate the, the, the depth of talent that is in Western Australia. But the message for me that I take away from this is that with uh, considered government investment and support, this can only be even more spectacular and grow and deliver to our government's aspirations to uh, have a much more diversified economy. Western Australia is very good at mining, very good at digging things up, but we have tremendous numbers of people um, who are creative and in the fashion area uh, as we all know, um, it, is a, it is a tremendously creative opportunity. So we want to see and talk to uh, a number of people here tonight about how we can grow that into the future. You're amazing. Um, thank you so much for your time, Honourable David. And, um, yeah, continue doing the amazing job that you do. Well, and thank you. Yeah. And, and it's great to be on your yeah. wonderful uh, um, um, station. Yeah. Hello, viewers. My name is Victoria Mayuin. From Cool Life TV, um, your Australian number one multicultural channel. Today I'm here at an event at Parliament House. Um, let me take you through and let's find out what's happening in there. My name is Terry Ann. Um, I'm a lecturer at ECU at, um, in Mount Lawley. I've been uh, lecturing there for about 16 years, contemporary fashion. I have my own business, I've been designing and helping to create uh, patterns and helping small business labels get up off the ground. Um, 
So yeah, this dress is one of my students' dresses. This is a dress by Kimberly Pace. Um, it's all printed on the inside as well. So it's all hand printed and dyed. Um, she's a practicing artist, a visual artist and fashion designer. Um, what else can I say? I also work for Abigail Mamas. So I teach um, African refugees to sew and help them to build skills to um, be self-supporting and um, enable them to be um, able to integrate into Australian life and just building skills and community and mental health. So that's really good. That's so, very inspiring. Yeah. So why fashion? Um, originally I wanted to be an art teacher. Uh, but I thought um, art's really hard to make money. Everyone needs to wear clothes. So for me, I always found that I never wanted to wear what, what was in the shops. Yeah. Um, and so I decided to become a fashion designer because it's a way of um, expressing myself as an individual. Um, and being a designer, I can create my own clothes. I don't, I'm not limited to what's out there, I'm not limited to patterns that are available. Um, and yeah, I guess like I'm a very creative person, so it makes me feel really fulfilled. That's very happy. inspiring. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. And what's your thought about today's event? Um, I was really thrilled to be invited. Um, I had the opportunity to invite some of the industry, um, my industry contacts. Um, that I knew weren't um, receiving the support that they could me. Um, for example, um, Eco Fashion Week Australia um, and some of the um, smaller designers that are more art based. So um, a lot of the funding goes towards um, designers that are uh, like very fashion forward, which is a shame because that's just following what is already in fashion. So my aim is to, um, I guess, help support new designers that are innovative and creating new things and new expression. So that's like supporting the like the smaller people. You know, so yeah, to be yeah, like exactly, you one day, and exactly. then it's amazing yeah, for it's those boring. upcoming designers yeah. to have someone like you who's very um, supportive yeah, and yeah. who wanted to help everyone to get where they should be. Exactly. Thank you very much, and all the best. And you. you look lovely tonight. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Very well, thank you. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Uh, can Hi. you please? Hello. Hi. Hello, how are you today? Hi. Um, can you please introduce yourself to our viewers and what's happening today and what you do? Okay, my name is Carol Hanlon and I'm the founder and the CEO of Textile Clothing and Footwear Resource Centre of WA, which is an industry association, been going here 25 years. And what we do is we help designers. We help them with business skills. We help designers to source. We help designers in the supply chain. And we help designers to go to exhibitions and the whole spectrum of the supply chain. And what's happening here today is the, fashion, the parliamentary friends of fashion have just showcased uh, probably about 10 designers in WA with um, their talent and skills. And there was a small parade and it was wonderful. Amazing. Thank you so much, yeah. uh, Tara. It was lovely meeting you. Yeah, all the best with what you do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you please tell us about this dress? Can you introduce yourself to our viewers and tell us about your beautiful dress where it came from? Oh, thank you. My name is Aloel. Aloel, yeah. Um, the dress I'm wearing today is by John Tay Designs. So they usually do like bridal wear and things like that. But the design is actually around here somewhere if you catch her. Oh, she's actually there in the nude suit and the red bag. Oh yeah, she designed this dress. Oh, this is magical. Um, can you 
please tell us um, a bit about yourself, and about your classes and what you do. Yeah, sure. Um, so my name's John Tay. I'm from John Tay Design, um, and I've had my label for 12 years now. But I specialise in evening wear, special occasion, and bespoke. Um, this is a design which is all hand beaded, so I design all the beading lines, all the tassels, and it's actually a two-in-one dress. So you can remove the skirt and it turns into a midi dress as well. Um, so I'm very much about also sustainability, being able to wear something more than once. Um, and that's showing how evening wear you can even do that as well. Yeah, she just looks beautiful. Very talented. Thank you. Um, and yeah, all the best with what you do. Yeah. And Thank you so much for having me.